Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of my monthly portfolio video updates. Today I'm thrilled to announce that my portfolio has actually grown for once. It's been six months since I've been able to say that. It was back in July last year. And as you can see here in the table, um, it's been a long journey this past year, um, as most of us have probably felt. It does feel a lot longer though, and while I am still about 81,000 down from all times highs back in November 21. I'm actually 95,000 down if you include the money I've invested since then as well. The 14,000, 14,500 pounds. Bit of background on what happened this month was the Fed um, earlier this week released its latest 25 basis point hike, which the markets were expecting to happen. I think where we're at now is a healthy point to be. Inflation is becoming deflation now and um, what I think most people are actually missing is the last 10 12 year bull run has been off the back of extremely low interest rates after the financial crisis in 08 or 09 and not from actual productivity growth in businesses I do think that in the US the Fed will keep the rate at 5 or maybe go up another quarter to 5.25% um, and hold it at that level till probably the middle of this year. They'll then start to cut rates in the second half of this year. That's just my thoughts. Talking briefly about the run up this past month, is the market getting ahead of itself? That's a question that I've posed myself and I think my personal answer would be yes, probably. But I'm not here to trade in and out or bet on the next month or next quarter. I'm investing in what I believe to be a good quality company that I think will grow through thick and thin and beat market expectations nine times out of 10. The other thing to probably highlight was that last week, um, just over a week ago, so a week on Wednesday just gone, Tesla released their Q4 financial results and also had the press call to go through the key elements of that call, uh, which management were on. Overall, it was a good release and a good call in my eyes, better than uh, I was expecting. It could have been worse considering the recent price cuts in China at the end of Q4 and the recession that's looming or upon us. Margins weren't great um, but once again weren't as poor as they could have been really um, considering those price cuts. Management um, on the call so specifically Zach, Kirkhorn and Elon seemed to manage the call quite well actually although there were times that Elon as normal decided to go off on tangents shocker um, Elon being Elon I guess I think one piece or statement made by Zach the CFO for Tesla on the call that gave the market the confidence it needed was the fact that he reiterated that margins would not go below 20% and the average sales price of vehicles would stay above $47,000 going forward. So that seemed to be taken well, hence the run up in price, I would imagine. For me, the main catalysts for this year in particular are, um, and we're starting to see it a little bit, but not as much as some people on Twitter think, the awakening of the energy business throughout this year, the March the 1st investor call that's upon us quite shortly, four weeks time, the Cybertruck release, which is probably the biggest catalyst actually, this increases the total addressable market, or the TAM, you might have heard it being called, that Tesla sells into by about 20%, which is quite a lot. They'll hopefully begin to start eating into Ford's F-150 model sales that are the biggest seller in that sector, really. Anyway, let's go back to my portfolio and what the purpose of this video actually is. It's grown by over 38%, in the past month in January, bringing my total investment value from at the start of the year £70,338 up to £97,469. I just want to bring up a couple of images from the investing app Free Trade that I use uh, to show you what that looks like. So here is my ISA account, and as you can see, I have just over £54,500 in the ISA account and also my general account, um, having nearly 53,000 in my general account. Over the course of January, as you can see, 
I have not bought or sold any shares of Tesla and this will be the same for both February and also March. Um, the reason for that is that uh, the new tax year starts on the 6th of April I think it is. Um, I will be investing whatever free cash I've accumulated between December and April and putting that into my ISA account on day one of the new tax year. Um, I'll then be selling whatever the remainder I need to max out the 20,000 allowance you're allowed uh, out of my general account, transferring it across from general to my ISA and investing in Tesla, shocker. Um, maxing out the 20,000 allowance you get. I hope this video has been a bit of a mix and a bit interesting. If it has, drop the video a like and also click subscribe so you can keep up with my journey to financial freedom or going bust, either or, we'll see. Um, but until next time, stay safe.